Greetings and welcome to the Transform Podcast. I am your host, Christopher Anastasio, and this is episode 99 of our podcast. It is Wednesday, November 30th, 2022, and welcome back, guys. Um, you know, I have to start off right away with a, a, a mea culpa. Um, you know, our last episode, 98, was all the way back on November 10th, and in those 20 days, it's been a very busy 20 days. <laughs> Obviously, here in the States, had a huge holiday, uh, you know, last week, uh, towards the end of the week. Uh, also had, um, you know, some very exciting uh, travel the week before that, uh, across the 15th through the 18th of November. So lots of stuff going on. Don't want to blame it on that. <laughs> we really pride ourselves on publishing at least one episode a week. Really, we obviously aim for two. Uh, anybody who's been following us for a long time knows that that's typically what you'll see from us is two episodes a week. Uh, so definitely sorry about that, guys. That's not the, the schedule we like to maintain, and I think you know that if you've been uh, a part of our audience for a while. Um, so getting that out of the way, um, we've only had two other episodes in November, and I'm going to recap those very quickly for you to kind of put in a plug for them. Um, back on November 3rd, episode 97, um, kind of drilled down a little bit into why you need and that was in all caps in the title, why you need to make YouTube Shorts, um, the, the, the types of engagement that we're seeing on YouTube Shorts, the, the way it can create sort of a gateway into, into your full-blown YouTube channel uh, and sort of almost serve as like a, a bit of an of a, uh, ancillary marketing arm for your YouTube channel right on top of your YouTube channel. So really a very kind of interesting episode there if you guys uh, are, are sort of on the fence with YouTube Shorts, maybe you haven't gone into the YouTube realm at all yet, um, episode 98, which was the one I, I mentioned, uh, published on November 10th, uh, was Meet Us in Mash and Tucket. And that was the sort of entree episode into our visit up to um, Foxwoods Resort uh, in Connecticut for the New England Practice Management Mass CPA Conference. Um, while we work with any firm or business that wants to leverage our marketing expertise, uh, our bread and butter for a long time has been in the finance, accounting, tax, bookkeeping realm. Uh, we, we've had a lot of experience with those type of clients, but certainly the principles that we apply uh, go across the board. Uh, so you don't have to be in that industry to work with us. Uh, but we happened to be at that conference, and we were, of course, uh, marketing ourselves while we were there. So that was just kind of an entree episode uh, for those who kind of had that interest area uh, back in episode 98. So today, what I wanted to talk to you guys about um, kind of picking up the ball from the October 7th episode 93, which was titled Twitter Bombshell, uh, where I actually talked about Twitter, but not the way you expect. I talked about Twitter from the, the standpoint of the technical upgrade they made to include more media in individual posts. So this is where you could attach up to four uh, pieces of media, but they could be a, a, a mixture of things. You could have a picture, you could have a, a GIF, you could have a video, uh, you, you could put up four pieces of video. You know, it just was another step forward for Twitter to, to, to kind of get back in the arena and compete a little bit better with the likes of TikTok and YouTube Shorts and stuff like that. What I wanted to talk to you about today, guys, and it's not going to go on for very long, but I just want to throw our two cents out there uh, as far as Twitter goes today, um, is the state of flux that Twitter is in as we speak. And of course, as you guys know, in late October, early November, uh, Elon Musk uh, took ownership of Twitter and started changing things pretty drastically in terms of the internal operations of the company. Now, a lot of people are debating, you know, what what that means uh, for the company, what that's going to mean for the company, whether the company is going to still be around, whether whether the company's app is going to be available on iOS or on Android or both of them. I heard a lot of rumblings about uh, Apple potentially dropping Twitter from the App Store. So a lot of shaky ground out there when it comes to Twitter. And I think, you know, the reason I'm not really ringing the alarm here on this podcast with you guys um, is because that is the platform that, at least from our perspective, we've kind of emphasized the least. Now, you will find a handful of episodes on the podcast here about Twitter, no question about it. We've talked about Twitter spaces, Twitter audio implications for, let's say, if you have a podcast and you want to roll in spaces. You know, we've, we've obviously talked about the, the one I mentioned, episode 93. So we have talked about Twitter here. But at no point in time have we advocated 
that Twitter be your primary channel. You know, we, we, we really look at Twitter, and this is kind of the, the, the meat of the episode here, guys. We look at Twitter as a secondary channel that provides two major functions. Number one, amplification. So if you're posting content anywhere else, you can go out to Twitter and you can amplify it there. You can take that content over to Twitter, either keep it the way it is or make some tweaks to it, whatever you want to do, and then you can blast it out on Twitter. So you get that sort of typical amplification by using it as a secondary channel. The second thing you get from Twitter is listening. Listening to conversation in your space, in your industry, in your sector, okay, uh, you know, with your audience, and seeing what they're talking about. And I think this is a very underrated application, actually, of Twitter. And you, know, you could argue you could do this on any platform. You can go out there and you can observe what people in your space are talking about or posting or commenting on, etc. So no question, you don't need Twitter to do that. But because of the nature of Twitter, the short form texting, the very quick, you know, fire off a message can be very messy and nobody really cares. It's not like, you know, people curating perfect Instagram feeds or TikTok feeds or whatnot. You know, Twitter really does kind of cultivate, and you can argue this has a double edge to the sword, uh, they really do cultivate kind of a fire and forget uh, kind of approach. And you can really put your fingers on the pulse of that by going out to Twitter, putting your ear to the ground, and just doing you know, some serious searching out there for uh, topics and keywords of interest to you. In fact, one of the episodes that we did, probably if you were going to listen to just one of them, was on the advanced search feature in Twitter, which is very underrated and underestimated. I think, in fact, I don't even really hear people talk about it much. Um, I have to kind of dig through the crates a little bit to find people mentioning how they use Twitter advanced search and how powerful it can be. That was actually episode 75. If you guys go back to mid-July, episode 75, Twitter advanced search. Uh, you can learn a little bit more, get a high-level view of like what is Twitter advanced search, why might I want to use that, why might that benefit my business, that kind of thing. And so that is really where I think Twitter comes into play. And so I think at this point, guys, if you said, Are you, okay, Chris, should I vacate Twitter? Should I bail out of the app? Obviously, if you have your own personal belief system about Twitter and Elon Musk and so forth, and whether that keeps you on the platform or takes you off, that's a different story. Obviously, I'm not trying to influence that. But from a marketing perspective, if you say, okay, forget about you know, the opinions and the politics and things of that nature, just, hey, Chris, should I be on Twitter marketing-wise or am I going to see the bottom drop out? I really believe it's not a time to just flee and just stop everything on Twitter. I think that if you're using a different primary channel, well, that's good to begin with, and you're not using Twitter as your primary channel, so you can't have a total trapdoor effect happen to you there. But... You have, you have a separate primary channel. You have other secondary channels, hopefully, if you guys have been following along with our omni-channel recommendation of, you know, more, more, more. Um, so it's not even like Twitter's your only secondary channel. But if you're on Twitter, if you are using it, I think that using it for those two reasons I outlined, amplifying and pushing out content that comes off the other channels, which is very easy to do on Twitter. I mean, that's a very quick little, you know, three-second thing. And then secondly, using its search features, using its listening capacity to really plug in and dial into your audience. I think that's really where the rubber meets the road. And that's where you can make the argument, just marketing-wise, pure marketing-wise, that you should stay there. And you should continue to sort of stay in the fight with Twitter until, you know, until the, the, the last bitter moment when it becomes untenable, either because it doesn't exist anymore or because, let's say, you know, if they, I mean, I got to admit, if they take the app off the phone and you have to log in through a browser, it's going to be a different experience. It's just flat out going to be a different experience. And at that point, we'd have to reevaluate it and say, okay, is that, even, is that even worth doing? Is that worth trying to maintain it that way? That's a separate conversation. But for now, the bottom line is Twitter's still out there. Twitter still is on the App Store. Twitter still is in full functionality pretty much. I haven't seen anything change really uh, with it. Uh, interestingly, it was supposed to crash during the World Cup. It didn't do that, not that I know of. Um, so it's still chugging along. And I think it's something that you got to kind of factor in when you say, okay, well, there's been a lot of naysaying about it, but it's still there and it's still working and it's still, you know, still doing what it always has done. So I think you got to take that into account as well. Okay, guys, so, so that's just the kind of, I know this is something that's been gestating a little bit throughout November, and we're kind of hitting it on the last day of November. So I definitely apologize for that, guys. I actually had hoped to do this episode two weeks ago in mid-November uh, as the dust was kind of 
almost settling on the, uh, the Elon Musk takeover. But anyway, so that's our opinion on that, guys. If you have any questions about that, you want to kind of plug in with us and say, hey, can you help me with my Twitter strategy or can you help me maneuver around Twitter? We'd love to do that. Uh, you can reach out to us on uh, LinkedIn and Facebook under Pransform, P-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M. And you can check out the website, Pransform.com. And of course, we appreciate your support, your followership, followership, et cetera, of our podcast. Okay? So when we come back to you guys, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be episode 100. That probably won't happen until next week, just kind of setting expectations. Uh, but definitely the week of December uh, 5th, I guess that is, uh, look out for episode 100. So that will be a very exciting uh, moment. We thought that was going to come in November. We thought that was going to be in sort of the middle of November. Uh, but that looks like it'll be an early December thing now. So uh, in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, comments, etc., please feel free to reach out to us. And hope everybody's having a great week, kind of middle of the week, hump day, uh, you know, as we head into the last month of the year. Can't believe that's what's happening. Can't believe we're about to talk about 2023 in earnest, uh, but we will do that. Okay, guys, so thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for checking in. I'm Chris Anastasio signing off, and we will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.